Searching for a job by uh, surfing the web? That search is a new normal, and there are plenty of sites and search engines to help you find employment. But proceed with caution because while you're looking for, while you're looking, scammers may find you first. Jennifer Bullock tells us how in tonight's Better Call 4. Jen. Well, Brad and Darlene, fake job opportunities are lurking among the real ones. Scammers using the guise of a legitimate company place an ad on a popular job site in order to get your personal information or money. A Columbus woman called Better Call 4 when it nearly happened to her, and now she has a warning for other job seekers. Like a lot of people during the pandemic, Deb Hikes lost her job in 2020. Living in South Carolina at the time, she packed up, moved home to Ohio, and started searching for a new job on ZipRecruiter.com. I was on there, and this job popped up, Cardinal Health. Deb applied and got an email from who she thought was Cardinal Health's human resources director, telling her to create an account on Wire.com, a website used to conduct her interview. Using one screen to communicate, Deb used a second computer to display Cardinal Health's website. In case they asked me any questions about Cardinal Health, I wanted to, you know, just kind of glance through. And being able to see the site helped Deb to spot a red flag. And I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at his word. It's verbatim. The words were verbatim, like he cut and pasted that section. This is what we are, this is what we do. They were verbatim. That's when Deb called Cardinal Health and the operator told her it was a scam. She said, yep, those are real names. And, but she said, we don't do hiring like that. We do it on our website. What happened to Deb is too common right now, according to Katie Daffin with the Federal Trade sure. Commission. Yes, unfortunately, we see that um, in times of economic crisis, health crisis, Scammers always do follow the headlines. So it's important, Daffin says, to recognize any red flags, like high pressure sales tactics, asking you to respond or act quickly. And take the time to look into any job posting, even from legitimate companies, especially when or money is view. tight and jobs are scarce. Research. You're vulnerable. You're so vulnerable, and they know that. Now, I asked Cardinal Health about the listing, and a representative tells me it was not legitimate, adding that during the application process, the company will not communicate via online chat rooms or solicit money. And Deb tells me the scammer did ask her who she banks with, but she did not provide any information, so she has not lost any money or seen any unusual activity. But if you have been a victim, the FTC says it is nothing to be ashamed of, and you should report it to them immediately.